Hey guys, so I figured it out. I played with the um, eye topper a little bit more and I actually found a video about this. So this is not my original idea. So I just wanted to show it to you in case anybody is interested. Um, so this is the eye topper um, Brad maker. And uh, in my video originally, I had made this one and you can see that it's got like those little puckers on the edges and I, I don't like that. So I was on a quest to find out how you can make them smoother. And what you can do is you moisten the paper. And I tried it with some of the Kirby Teasdale stack. These are two different that I made. And one is with and one was without the um, smoothed ed edges. And I think you might be able to see the difference. This one is just without moistening the paper and you can kind of see in the um, around the edges there's that little crease and then this one is a little different it's a lot it seems to be a lot smoother and let me just bring it closer up to the camera so you can see that see that see this one you can see a crease right there but this one seems to be a lot smoother so let me show you on camera I'm just moistening the paper with a baby wipe and it's not super saturated, but it is, it, you know, it is pliable now. And I'm going to take the eye topper and I won't, you know, show you all the details about how I do this because that was in my first video. Take the head of the brad and then put my piece of paper and my plastic over the top. And then I'm going to center it. And once it's good and centered, I'm going to squeeze gently. Just want to make sure it's centered. Doing this on camera is a lot harder. Um, so now I'm just squeezing it real good. And then I'm going to tuck the paper in. Actually, I'm going to turn the head to do that. So I'm just going to tuck the paper in really good. Okay. One more corner there. I just want to go around and make sure that it's in there real good. So I'm just putting my nail down in there. And then I will put the backing on. And that's pretty simple as well. So I'm going to squeeze it down. And you heard the click. And now I will take it out. And there is another tip that I found um, when doing these to make it smoother. Okay, so this is what it looks like as it comes out. It is smoother around the edges than the one I had originally made the first time around. So you see that? There is less puckering around the edges. Right here there's a crease here. This one doesn't have as much. But the other thing that I found is that if you take the edge and okay you just take it between your index finger and your thumb and you roll it on a hard surface you know, with some pressure, that will help you to smooth out the edges and you will get a nicer finished brad. So for those of you who watched my original video and saw me make the first brad, here is one that has a smoother edge and here's that original one. You see that? There are less creases along the sides than the um, the first one I had done. So I hope that helps and I hope that um, inspires you to try these out again if you bought this tool. I'm glad that I bought it now because now I can make some really cute brads for different things. Oh and, and I actually got the ones that had the magnets too. In case anybody's wondering this is the one that had the pin. I also have tons of these magnets now which you can you know 
these are magnetic. This is a button backing. So the ones that have the magnets, I believe, are flat. And um, so, yeah, I have now a lot of these little disc magnets for mini albums or what have you and you know, can connect them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.